Expressions allow you to create more complex animations or repetitive tasks like looping or random movement. It's the geeky code side of AE and the list of expressions is seemingly endless. But unless you want to get into character animation or serious motion graphics, you may not use a lot of them. And personally, I use a few over and over. And for anything else, I just Google it and someone's usually created it for me so I can just copy and paste it. So for now, let's cover the two that I use the most. They are wiggle and loop. First, let's create a wiggle, which is a sort of randomizer. To start, we scroll down the little arrow to reveal our properties. We can then Alt or Option click on anything with a stopwatch. Click where the text is and now we can code anything we want. As we start typing, After Effects will helpfully serve us with some code possibilities. We type wiggle, open brackets, and then two numbers with a comma in between. The first number is the frequency. In other words, how many times or how often. And the second number is the amplitude, so the amount. So with wiggle brackets 5, 50, close brackets, we're telling the pre-comp to move 50 pixels away from its original position five times a second. I'll often use this subtly when I just need things to feel a little less static. Try this on rotation or opacity or other values in various degrees to see what happens. As you can see, the expression meant I didn't have to keyframe all of this random movement, saving me loads of time. Another favorite is loop. For that, let's set some keyframes. I want this word to animate from left to right over and over again without needing to copy and paste the keyframes. This will allow me to tweak that animation without needing to reduplicate keyframes. Alt click on the stopwatch and this time type loop and select loop out using the arrow keys and hitting enter. It's worth mentioning that in expressions, lowercase letters and uppercase letters can mean completely different things. And even a uh, space typed in the wrong spot can break the expression. You don't even need to type anything between the brackets because this will loop for as long as the comp is. To delete an expression, either delete the code by selecting it and hitting backspace or alt click on the stopwatch again. I mean, this is hardly even the tip of the iceberg of what expressions are capable of. There's always more to learn in AE. Why not try these two expressions out for yourself? Happy editing.